going to read Charlie's Boat by Kit Chase. In this story, Charlie and his friends make a boat out of twigs and leaves. And in our activity today, you can also make a boat from twigs and leaves. And you can have fun collecting them as well, just like Charlie and his friends. It was a fine fishing day. I caught a fish, said Oliver. Me too, squealed Lulu. I caught a stick, said Charlie. Charlie caught a lot of sticks. I can't fish, he grumbled. All the fish are in the middle and the water's too deep for me. Charlie sat next to the pile of sticks and suddenly he had an idea. Watch this, Charlie shouted to his friends. Look what he did. Wow, let's all make boats, suggested Lulu. So they poked and fiddled and twisted and tied until their boats were just right. Oliver made a long, flat boat. Lulu made a small little boat. And Charlie made a big, tall boat. My boat's the biggest and fastest, said Charlie. There's only one way to find out, said Oliver. Let's have a race. Ready, set, go. Here they go. Lulu's boat took off like a flash with Oliver's right behind. Charlie's boat was big, but it wasn't very fast. It got stuck on some rocks and tangled in some branches. When they got to the finish line, Lulu's boat came in first, Oliver's came in second, and Charlie's finished a very slow last. Congratulations, muttered Charlie. He tried to be happy for his friends, but he didn't feel very happy. I guess I'm not good at fishing or making boats. That's it, cried Oliver. I've got a grand idea that will help you do both. Here, Charlie, said Oliver, help me lash this stringy vine to these logs. I know what to do with this, Lulu chirped. When they were all finished, Lulu helped Oliver push his grand idea into the water and they set Charlie to gather their fishing supplies. Ahoy, shouted Charlie. Hop aboard, said Lulu. and Charlie caught his first fish. The end, and I hope you have a lot of fun making your twig boats.